What's going on YouTube? Techlos back with another video. And today I'm gonna to be going over GameSum. So GameSum is an application. It is in the Play Store that you can get. And we'll go ahead and open it up here. Obviously, as you can see, I have it running on the portable, uh, Shield Portable, which is probably an ideal device for this kind of application. And basically what it is, is a front end for emulators. Uh, a lot of people that follow my videos know that I do Hyperspan and I also do LaunchBox um, and other, you know, basically emulator front ends. And this to me, right as of right now, is probably one of the better options on Android. Um, there is Hyperspin on Android right now, but just like with any Hyperspin setup, it's going to take a lot of, uh, you know, not, you know, crazy knowledge, but anybody that knows Hyperspin knows that there's issues <clears throat> that come up when you're setting it up. So the best part about GameSum is that it will do basically all the work for you. So I'm gonna go here and kind of just show you, first of all, the front uh, setup. It's very simplistic. Um, you see you can have favorites here in a settings tab, and right away you're, you're uh, presented with uh, the front end. Now, disclaimer, I did pay for the non-ad version, which I think it was like $1.75, nothing. Um, so we'll go to scroll through here and we'll see what we have here. I may have certain uh, emulators disabled, but we'll check, take a look at that in a minute. So we got Atari, Game Boy, Game Boy Advanced, Game Boy Color, MAME, Mega Drive, 64, Nintendo DS, Nintendo Entertainment System, TurboGrafx-16, Sega Master System, and Super Nintendo. So these are all the options that I have set up right now. So let's go ahead and take a look at Atari. When we go into Atari, actually this is pretty nice because it's actually right now searching. As you can see, it's got a, a total, how many new games it's found, and errors. And all I had to do to do this was pull across here and set my ROM directory. And once I set my ROM directory, it started searching and pulling uh, what we, a term we call scraping scraping all the information, the artwork, and right now it's just going through and it's loading up all that stuff. And as you can see, it's going to it's just thinking, so it's going to be blinking. So we'll go ahead and let that load up, go back up to the top. So right now we're at 241 games. All I had to do was move my ROMs over to this. All right, so scan ended. So as you can see, there are some that didn't find um, artwork and you can take care of that, but we're gonna just kind of move through and see what we got going on here. So as you can see, we got Asteroids, and, you, and it's all based on the, the ROM set that you have. As you can see right here, I have Asteroids Japan, but I have Astro Blast USA. So we'll kind of scroll through here. We got some more that did come up with uh, errors as far as, you know, the games work, but the, um, you know, the artwork didn't pull up. And you know, since this is like my secondary, um, kind of platform, I really don't usually care too much about that. It's just to be able to play. So I think you kind of, well, here you go. Here's an, and here's a duplicate and you can just kind of long press that and delete it and stuff like that. If you want to go through and make it look perfect. Um, so here is the catch. I would say as far as game song, we're going to pull across here. As you see here again, we're in, um, uh, Atari. It gives you options, so selecting the platform. So as you see here, this is kind of locked down. You can't just use any emulator. So what this is saying here is you can use RetroArch Stella, which I have and it's free. You can use Atari, Ataroid, <laughs> or you can use 2600 EMU. I will say that there are a couple emulators in here that I came across that I couldn't get RetroArch to run and it was an emulator that was a paid emulator that I had, I think there was one, I, one or two, not a big deal to me. Um, so you can't just run it with any, uh, you know, emulator, even if it runs on Android. So it has As to be right one now, that's authorized to work with this uh, application. Uh, so anyways, setting uh, the emulator, uh, setting the ROM path, you could refresh your list, hidden games, show as grid list, so you could change it if you want to, have it just kind of scrolling down. That's an option, uh, show or hide filter, and then settings. So that's basically how that works. Um, let's move over to MAME. We'll go ahead and start up. I have two games in here. I have Street Fighter and Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3. So we'll go ahead and start this up. 
the best part about the um, the best part about the shield is that it automatically picks up the controller so that you know right away I can I can use the way that it's set up for Nvidia so for me it's uh, coin coin by pressing this down start So we'll do a little Ryu real fast. Get my ass whooped. So we'll go ahead and get out of there. So that's uh, basically the setup. So we'll go into settings. And here, if you go into emulators, you know, you could go through here and set up current default actions, um, you know, set up the default emulators. Uh, you can also go and uh, click out ones, like if you don't, if you want to take out a platform. So let's go up to the top here. Let's go to paths. So this is the paths for the um, Brahms. And, uh, you know, just different settings. It's all pretty, you know, intuitive. I mean, it doesn't, it's not hard to set this up. I know under general, so under general, as you can see here, like I have the Commodore 64 hidden, Dreamcast hidden, Game Gear. And the reason I have them hidden is until I set them up, I don't want them showing there. So there are some other Atari Lynx. Uh, uh, this is uh, Afterburner, Sega 32, Sega CD. Sega Saturn, the MSX, ColecoVision. These are just the ones I have hidden right now. Neo Geo, Neo Geo Pocket, PSP, Sony PlayStation, uh, Virtual Boy, WonderSwan, and Sinclair. So those plus the ones that I showed you when I set it up are the ones that are available. So it has a healthy list of stuff that you can um, that you can you know set up. So this is GameSum. I'm gonna go ahead and move this over here and just kind of bring up my Galaxy S6 here and show you that, again, it's basically on any Google platform. Um, we'll, we'll, we'll use it, we'll work. So we'll open up GameSum, go back, and there you go, using gestures because this one doesn't have a controller, but still works very well. And everything has the on-screen you know, controllers if you're playing on a phone like this, or you could use a Bluetooth remote, wireless remote, you know, many, many options that you can use. TurboGrafx-16 is probably my favorite console. So anyways, I just wanted to do a video about GameSum, GameSum and options uh, that you have to be able to do emulators uh, with the front end on Android. I also have this integrated with Kodi and I will be doing a video on that shortly. I actually changed my build, so I had to reset it up, but very, very easy to set up. The difference between Android um, Kodi integrating an application is far, far more easier than having to integrate um, an application on a Windows PC. So we'll be showing that, how you can have this set up uh, in uh, your Kodi build on Android so that you just use it, it goes right to Gamesung, and when you exit, it goes back to Kodi. All right, thanks for watching. See you in the next video.